Well, my name is Jason Whalen, Deputy Fire Chief of the Kearney Volunteer Fire Department. We're here at the Pierce Manufacturing Plant uh, to do the final inspection on our new engine. Uh, the Kearney Volunteer Fire Department is uh, located in the city of Kearney in the south central Nebraska. Population of Kearney is about 34,000 people. Our department covers about 272 square miles and almost 20 miles of, of Interstate 80. A fairly busy department. Um, here, we're just go ahead and do a quick walk around and show you some of the features of our, of our new truck. We went with the Pierce Enforcer uh, chassis. We went with the uh, vinyl interior uh, to make it ease of cleaning. Uh, we've used the um, Pierce command zone uh, for the controls as well as we introduced the 360 degree camera on this truck. Um, we've used the overhead membrane switches for a lot of our in-cab controls. Um, here are some of the safety features on this truck. We've uh, done the backlit uh, hand grabs for, for at nighttime and low visibility um, times. This truck we use the TAC-4 all-terrain uh, suspension, uh, which will increase uh, safety and maneuverability of, of, of the truck operation here. Uh, moving to the back seat, we went with the 10-inch raised cab. That just increases the amount of space and, and comfort for our, dry, or our firefighters to maneuver inside of the inside of the cab. Again, back here we did the pack track to, for ease of uh, tool mounting as well. And back here, once we get to the pump panel, we went with the with the Watrous 1,500 gallons per minute pump and the Husky 12 foam pump. This truck has 600 gallons of water and a 40 gallon foam cell in it. Um, we got we have three cross lays we did with the quick release net. Um, we got a cross lay for two inch and three quarters and then one two and a half inch. Um, we got a spot up here for a little giant ladder which isn't in here and on in in this compartment here we've got retractable retractable cord reels. Okay. Again, going with the safety features, we have backlit uh, steps all the way around the truck. Any of these steps, they're all backlit to assist um, in maneuvering in low visibility areas. This here, we did the reverse swing engineer compartment. Since most of the work is done here, it just increased the ease of uh, operation. We got slide out tool compartment for most of our tools. Um, we use kind of this dead space in the fender wells uh, for, we got SCBA compartment here for spare SCBA bottles. We got one spare SCBA bottle here. And then we have our, our fuel and def. Uh, there we put a, put a switch here so nobody accidentally puts uh, fuel inside the def tank, so. An additional SCBA compartment and in, in the tool compartments we did the pegboard uh, again for ease of, of mounting tools and, and, and changing uh, locations where we want to mount that. Again just another tool compartment we do have 110 outlets in the rear here for some of our tools that need recharging. On the back here one of the things we have is the uh, we got electric hose bed covers. Again for ease we got our hose bed compartments again have the quick drop down nets. Um, we got a slide out slide out tray that we keep our uh, positive pressure fans in here. We've also got our, our ladder storage here. This is the first truck that we've um, put the interior ladder storage, pike pole and uh, New York hook 
storage up top there. And then up top we have our two locations for our hard suction storage. And then on this side we went with a 50 pound uh, hopper that we can store um, oil dry, uh, dry oil dry there for um, a lot of times we get snow and ice in, uh, in Nebraska and we can use that for scene safety to throw on the ice, make sure our firefighters don't slip. We can also use it at car accidents and that. And uh, speaking of the snow and ice that we get, this truck is also has the Insta chains below it, the drop down chains to increase our traction in those type of conditions. The crosswalk is just a little bit uh, tall for our top mount pump. Reason we went with that is for e uh, visibility. Our engineers that are up top uh, have 360 degree view all the way around the scene and that just helps uh, for, for during scene operations. Again, the back seat, everything is um, pretty standard with the with the other side and matches close. We got pack track back here as well as the lights for ease of tool mounting. And our officer seat, one thing we added, we have the matching membrane switches up top here so our officer can control everything from there also. And here on the front of the truck, we've got a compartment here for 150 foot of, of inch and three quarter attack line. On this truck, we went with the Whalen emergency light package um, and we did the high vis scene lighting package on this truck. And that pretty much wraps up uh, this uh, visual tour of our truck. Before we finish, I'd like to thank uh, Todd Klein and McQueen and Pierce for building this truck for us. I want to thank the members of our department that served on the committee to design this truck, and I especially want to thank the city manager of Kearney, the mayor, and the city council for their continued support of our department.